All right, as an epilogue to the whole tale, one of the things I forgot to grab out of the aid station was the uh, replacement batteries for the camera, so unfortunately I wasn't able to make any additional recordings, dark as they were, um, during the last few minutes of the race, the last few hours, as it were. Um, basically, um, I continued fighting sleepiness most of the rest of the way, although my legs feel, felt pretty good, not too many problems with the feet, but I'm so tired. Um, I did manage to pick up my Starbucks bottled coffee at the Pringle Aid Station, which really gave me a nice perk and boost all the way into Argyle. But then uh, I think, uh, I can't remember if I had coffee at Argyle, but uh, upon leaving Argyle, which was about 17 miles left, the wheels came off the bus. Um, I was constantly fighting exhaustion. Um, it was uh, I would uh, run and then had a hard time not falling asleep while I was running. Um, finally, after maybe a mile, I just laid down beside the road and decided to take a 10-minute uh, nap. So I set my alarm for about 10 minutes. Um, I was awoken by the sound of footsteps and surprised to see a friend whom I met um, by the name of Matt. I was able to go with him for a while, um, but he was struggling a bit and needed to stretch. And I got ahead of him, and while waiting for him to catch up, I laid down beside the road, and apparently he passed me, and we wouldn't see each other again until the next day, or until the morning. Um, I did manage to get up again, made it to the Morph aid station, which was about six miles um, past the Argyle aid station and uh, slept there for oh, a good 20 minutes. At that point I met up with a uh, fellow named Cliff who was having some very, very difficult and painful foot problems and so we were able to finish out the race together <coughs> in the morning but instead of a triumphant sub-24 pace I was able to eke out a 26 and a half which Given the course and the number of people who did drop the heat, um, I say you know I'm, I, I may I may be second guessing it may have some disappointments, but overall I got to be pretty pleased with that. That was my my first successful completion, and so you know here's to many more in the future. <laughs>